Thanks, ASAP. Hey, sure. welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and right next to me is uh, ASAP Adonai on piano. And you can catch ASAP at the uh, Southgate Mall pretty much all winter long. Him going to be playing the piano. Are you playing the piano today? Yeah, at the Patty Creek Market today. And um, are you not playing at the Southgate Mall? That, that finally ended on uh, Friday. Ooh. Really? Yeah, they ended it early, and then um, Paddy Creek Market invited me to start playing last Saturday, so I'm there every day until Christmas Eve at Paddy Creek. All right, so disregard what I said about South Great Mall. He's going to be at Paddy Creek Market, and how long are you going to be there for? Till about 4 o'clock or 5. So it's like 12 to 5? Yeah. Cool. So you have pretty much all afternoon to check out ASAP at the Paddy Creek Market. You can always uh, ask for... Um, um, what, do, what do people mostly ask for? You know, what songs? Requests. That's the word I was looking for, is requests. It's right. usually um, Moon River or um, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, one of those kind of songs. Oh, cool. You'd be surprised. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about weather. You know, you you walked in here and it was cold. Yeah, very as cold. It is winter after all, and today is very special because it is the winter solstice. It is the shortest day of the year, and luckily, it's overcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that because the overcast captures the heat that is our uh, petri dish that is Missoula, which is also a banana belt, which is also an inversion. Anyways, today it's going to be about 21 degrees Fahrenheit with a high of 30. And of course, tonight you have a winter advisory warning. So if you're going to be on the roads traveling, just be a little bit careful and be a, be aware that that winter advisory warning is happening tonight. And there's a 60 to an 80% chance of snow going from today until later tonight. Um, Tuesday, you have an more snow. Tuesday, um, uh, Wednesday, you have um, snow likely, so you can expect a nice little uh, white Christmas, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, I was lucky, I was fortunate, because the other week, last Friday, I went around with uh, Gary Gillette and a bunch of people dressed up as Santa while they were carrying around a tuba. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I got to say, like, I, I, I know I pre-recorded our uh, episode uh, for this Wednesday and Friday. It'll be running Wednesday and Friday afternoon, a bit from 2 to, like, 2.30. Um, it's not that long. It's it's a nice little short show, but it's also very special because it's going to be our 400th episode. Can you imagine 400 episodes wow. of Wake Up Missoula? And, of course, um, ASAP's probably been on it for about 250 Something like that. Yeah, I mean, about, about a year or something like that. Yeah, a year from the uh, basically two summers ago. So you've been on for a year and a half now. Yeah. Wow. August fourth was my first appearance. August fourth, uh, twenty fourteen. Mm-hmm. And speaking of appearance, if you have an upcoming event or cause rally or uh, concert, you can um, contact us, contact us by logging on to our website wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You should totally like us on our Facebook page. You can always find us there as well as follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can follow Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also like MCAT on our Facebook page. Of course, to find out more information about Missoula Community Access Television, you can just simply log on to MCAT.org where you can find all sorts of wonderful things like programming, what's new, video on demand, just a lot of great stuff. And also you can call us at 542-6228 or you can email us in our general inbox MCAT at MCAT.org. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just can get in contact with us. You have an upcoming event or upcoming rally cause, blah, blah, blah. Um, but of course, one thing I'm excited for is First Night. First Night Missoula is a uh, non-alcoholic celebration in downtown Missoula, which I think is a very rare uh, type of a celebration these days. And it's fun for the whole family, and it's for all ages, and it happens at the University uh, Center, or as I like to call it, the UC Center or University Center Center, and you can check that out. Uh, buttons are available at pretty much Patty Creek Market, where ASAP will be playing, and uh, pretty much every other grocery store and other place synonymous with the Missoula Downtown Association and Missoula Cultural Council. They're all kind of like a conglomerate of one another. Um, there's the Missoula Downtown Partnership, which is basically kind of like works with uh, Downtown Association, yada, 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 that kind of thing. So you can find out more information by going to MissoulaCultural.org to find out uh, where you can get your button and your um, little um, script on what you're going to be doing for Christmas Eve. If you're, you know, because it happens basically starting at noon and it goes all day. So if you want to do that all day and then go out and drink with your buddies, you can. And of course, the Wilma is not going to be doing their uh, first night uh, 
Star, which is like a singing competition for um, teenagers. But of course, I'll, I'll hopefully try to have um, Tom Benson or Matt um, Free, Freeman on our show to talk more about the um, First Night Missoula. So let's talk about what's new on MCAT. So we have a couple of new programmings happening throughout this week, um, but these are the new programs that are happening um, tonight and tomorrow night. So let's take a look at all your new programming, starting with um, Mansfield Brown Bag Lectures. Peaceful Islam. So in Islam, again, as I said, there are verses that have peaceful tones and like conditions of jihad. When do we raise the jihad? A lot of people claim it's only defense to defend the territory. And of course, the other side says, no, that's not true. And they give reasons why it's not true. Islam, if we understand Islam as a narrative with philosophical uh, primordial elements that we need to respect while Islam keeps changing its shape and face, we need also to understand that the principles of Islam are about no compulsion in Islam. La I get to bring students to Vietnam in the winter session. I've led that course three times. Um, the focus of that course is on climate change. Vietnam is one of the countries of the world that's most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. So it's a fitting place for us to bring students. So in terms of um, what is important, I was thinking about three things that I've benefited from and which I try to encourage in the programs I lead now. So um, this is a quote that she put in um, from Lord Kelvin. One's knowledge of science begins when he can measure what he is speaking about and express it in numbers. So, you know, we're numbers people, we like this. <laughs> so first of all, um, put out pretty recently, probably your best source of, of data um, at the county level is gonna be these county health profiles. I've, I am really biased because I helped a lot with putting together. All right, so that is your events. And the last one is the Department of Health um, and Human Sciences. And of course, they're um, pretty much famous right now in the nation for, nah, uh, well, I don't want to talk a little more about this, but um, let's move on to our, our uh, event segment. I don't know. I kind of lost my train of thought. I was just like, I'm not entirely sure. So I probably shouldn't say something I'm not entirely sure about saying. But anyways, let's talk about events. Let's see what's going on for today. So this is what's happening today. And there's a special camp for, you know, like your winter break and parents have to figure out a way um, that their kids are not in school. A lot of times some of the kids aren't old enough to be alone or they can't find babysitters. So this is a good time for babysitters to um, step up and get paid lots of money for the holiday season. But of course, if you're um, interested, if you have kids and you're, if you're interested in um, doing a little camp for winter break, it's at Spectrum Discovery and where their school is out, Spectrum is in, enrollment for um, Spectrum's upcoming winter break camp for December 21st through December 23rd, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So pretty much it takes, it fills in the gap that school left. So get in the spirit of giving every camper will have the opportunity to use science and engineering to create a personalized uh gifts mm. design puppets and moving parts design jewelry i want to do this i'm already excited for it it looks really cool and there's um there's a cost 140 dollars per child 10 percent member and sibling discount so if your kids already go there you get that little 10 percent discount which is 14 dollars. pretty sweet um if you're of course, if your child enrolls into the Arctic Arctic Adventures Camp, December 28th through the 30th, the total price for both camps is about $250. So I, I believe you save about $30 if you sign up for both. Um, the next event is another camp that's happening at the next Spectrum as well. And that's, um, let's see, did it, Little Scientists. And this is for them to explore things ooze, bounce, melt, and this is for ages four to five years of age. And the cost is thirty-five dollars per session, ten percent if you're ten percent off if you are a member. And of course, the previous one is from six to nine. All right. So the next event let's talk about is the um, the one that's happening. Where is that at? Roots Acro Sports Center, and they're doing holiday camps, holiday party theme. And they're doing um, 9 to 3.30, ages 12 to th um, ages 3 to 12 years old. And 9 to 12, um, it's ages 3 to 4 years old. And 
early care is 8 to 9, after care is 3.30 to 5 p.m. And then the covers come to the spirit, celebrate the spirit of the holidays and then make gift decoration cookies and enjoy hot chocolate. So the cost is for a day is $50, two days 90, three, 130, four days 160, five days 190, woof, six days 220. And of course, uh, for the whole, for a whole week, it's $255 for these kind of camps at the Roots Acro Sports Center. And of course, uh, there's holiday ice skating starting at 9 a.m. this morning. Um, of course, you can get into the Christmas spirit. It's uh, Monday, December 21st, and it's from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., 12 to 2, 3 to 5, and 6 to 8. So of course, there's like an hour break for every two hours of stuff going on. Um, Saturday, you know, more times and stuff like that. Of course, admission is $6 for adults and $3 for youth or seniors. Um, and you, of course, renting skates is for $3. Our next event is Family Fun Time at Mismo Gymnastics. And, of course, they're doing all sorts of um, longer hours. And it's from walking to 12 years of age. And they offer a supervised and safe environment full of obstacle courses, uh, trampolines, and foam pits. Let's see. It's $7 for kids and... Um, ten dollars if you're not a member of mismo and of course there's the roots acro sports center is doing another uh preschool play group which they always do and it's from walking to five years of age and it's one hour eight dollars for drop-in and twelve dollars for siblings which is pretty cool if you have three siblings um there's moscow monday it's montgomery distillery where they donate one dollar from each pint sold to a non-profit so that's starting at 12 p.m today and uh you can look up on their website um, I believe it's, well, I guess you're just going to have to type in Montgomery Distillery on the old Google search engine and you can find the website and figure out what nonprofit is benefiting from today's $1 of each pint sold. Of course, Bridge Group is happening at the Missoula Senior Center at 1 p.m. today. So if you like Bridge, check it out. It's only $1.25, so $1.25, basically enough to buy a soda, um, a 20-ounce soda from a soda machine. Whew. All right, so there's the duplicate bridge group. So if you don't like the bridge group, you can always go to the duplicate bridge group. And that's happening at 1 p.m. at the Garden City Duplicate Bridge Club. And that's where it is. It's at 2825 Stockyard Road, Suite 1 through 3, Missoula 59808. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you the zip code. Um, there's the Holiday Cooking Camp, and that's at Taste Bud Kitchen, starting at uh, 1 p.m. It's for ages 4 to 13. Four to thirteen, and it's going to be uh, one hundred and sixty dollars per week or forty five dollars per day. The next one is Makerspace is electronics education, and that's happening at the Missoula Public Library at three p.m. Their Makerspace is pretty sweet. They have the three D printer and they have all sorts of really cool things. Three D printer is basically the basis, but they have like little soldering, and you can make your own little toys and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. And it's happening from 3 to 6 p.m. in the Makerspace at the Museum Public Library. The, apparently, there, and I don't think there's a price. Um, Raising the Dead, live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead. So if you go uh, there to the Top Hat Happy Hour from 5 to 7 p.m., the Top Hat will host um, Missoula Deadheads for over two hours of live dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. The two hours will be um, curated by local dead experts. And of course, it's all ages and it's a free event. And of course, if you go hang out there, you get a little punch card. And if you punch out like 10, if you go to 10 of these events, whether it's uh, the Monday um, Raising the Dead, um, you get uh, basically a ticket to go see a free show so just show up uh, this and for um, the fish day which is I think it's a Thursday f about the same time five to seven but of course I'll talk more about that some other time um, there's the uh, more taste but kitchens happening at 5 30 p.m. and this is a family gingerbread house workshop so you can bring the family and you can learn how to make gingerbread houses from scratch and it's $30, $35 per child adult pair. So it's a nice little family event where you can make gingerbread houses. And what a good time to make gingerbread houses. Is that the uh, Sugar Plum theme song? Yes it is. Okay. Yes, it is Sugar Plum Fairy. It just came to mind. <laughs> 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 All right, so you have um, intro to email. So if you don't know how to use email and you have a, a little, maybe you're a little um, tech slow, especially with some emails, and especially if you're still using Hotmail, Noel, 
Um, you can totally switch on to the whole Gmail like us cool guys. And you can learn the basics of creating an email account, writing a message, ooh, and CCing people. Um, and that's happening at 6 p.m. tonight at the Missoula Public Library. And of course, if you are interested in the service industry, or you were a part of the service industry, if you can get special deals at the Plonk, it's not the Plonk, it's just called Plonk, and it's where the old um, Army Navy store used to be. It's downtown right next to Faruqi's across the street from Five on Black, yada, yada, yada. They have special deals on people who work for the service industry. Um, so yeah, I mean, check it out. It's pretty cool. It's happening at 6 p.m. tonight at Plonk. Um, there's the REI Ski and Snowboard um, Tuning Basics. So if you're just starting to get um, snowboarding, skiing, all this stuff, and it's a perfect time. You know, kids are at school, and maybe they want to pick up a, maybe a couple new things. Maybe they want to be able to get out of their snowboard a lot easier rather than just falling and struggling to get out of there like m people I am aware of. Um, you can um, check that out. It's at 6.30 at REI. And the next event is um, Skate with Santa. So if if you go to Glacier Ice Rink, of course they have all these little events happening from 9 to 11, happening pretty much all day in two-hour increments. Um, you can skate with Santa Claus because Santa Claus is going to be skating at Glacier Ice Rink at 6.30 p.m. And of course, um, yeah, you can pose with Santa on this ice rink. I think it's really cool, if, especially for ice skating families. Um, of course, city council meeting is happening tonight at 7 p.m. Um, I'll try to talk a little bit more about uh, what's happening with the city council meeting, but no promises. Um, that's happening tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, there's um, Blues Monday at the Badlander, so if you like blues, check it out. It's at the Badlander. It's um, off of Ryman Street. I believe it's across the street from Bodegas and Monks. You can check it out. It's Blues. All right, so... That's about it for my segment. Let's toss it over to Asaph for his. Go ahead, Asaph. You know, um, you know you're something when somebody writes a song about you because they have a crush on you. <laughs> History says that the singer Paul Anka wrote the famous song "Puppy Love" Aww. for his crush that we're going to talk about. And before there was Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. Our guest is Annette Joan Funicello, known to the world as Annette Funicello. Annette Funicello was an American actress and singer, and she began her professional career as a child performer at the age of 12, and she rose to prominence as one of the most famous and popular Mouseketeers of all time on the original Mouseketeers Mickey Mouse Club. And then, of course, as a teenager, she transitioned into a successful singing career with pop singles um, Oh Dio Mio and Tall Paul and Pineapple Princess as well as establishing herself as a film actress in the beach party genre movies of the 1960s with her co-star Frankie Avalon and you can see here's handsome young Frankie Avalon who was a fantastic singer in his own right now there's not any um, awards or anything. It just basically says she was born in New York, moved to Southern California at the age of four, and Annette Funicello was personally discovered by Walt Disney when she was performing the Swan Queen in Swan Lake at a dance recital at the Starlight Bowl in Burbank, California. And when she was cast as Annette, you know, for the Mickey Mouse Club, she was receiving 6,000 letters a month, according to Disney Legends biography. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't gotten 6,000 letters in 57 years of life. <laughs> She's getting this in the, every month. So um, she just went on to do um, things like the Skippy peanut butter commercial in 1979, and they did some reunion beach movies, and she just did other movies like Zorro and stuff with Guy Williams from Lost in Space and Babes in Toyland. So she just had a a very wholesome image and she set the standard of purity and um, wholesomeness as this character on the Mickey Mouse Club and I just think that's a wonderful legacy to leave the world. Let's show this clip real quick. <laughs> Now this guy's singing with her, his name is Jimmy, you can keep playing it, but I just want to narrate it. 
Annette. Yeah, um, Jimmy was a featured character along with Annette, and you can see how skilled she was as a child. Look at that on her tippy toes. And she's only 13. Yeah, well, maybe 13 on this clip, but she was discovered at 12. Wow. I couldn't do that. I mean, my feet hurt just looking at this little girl doing that. But Annette and Jimmy, they were like the main feature fixtures on the Mickey Mouse Club. And if you were a little boy like me, you watched uh, Mickey Mouse because of Annette. And like Paul Anka, you had a crush on Annette. <laughs> and I just loved this show when I was a kid growing up. So that's a wonderful legacy that uh, Annette Funicello left, that she left the world. It's the greatest Mouseketeer of all time. Cool. Do you have any um, closing remarks about Annette Funicello? No, just uh, she set the standard. And so for future Mouseketeers, from Britney Spears to Justin Timberlake and whoever in the future, there will always be Annette Funicello. That's cool. how I'm going to end this. Oh, thanks, ASAF. And that was Musical Notes with ASAF. And, of course, we have some more talented kids from the Missoula County Public Schools. And maybe they'll get discovered. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but this is the Double uh, A Choir Festival that was happening um, in Missoula about a, couple mo- about a month or so ago. And it's basically... A lot of the kids who are really into music, and I think this is uh, this is also going to be showing on MCAT tonight. I kind of wanted to separate it with, from the mangas because I wanted to have it a little more musical. So without further ado, here is the MCPS uh, AA um, Choir. you can check all that out on MCAT.org on our video on demand um, but of course that is a little taste of what's happening with there um, right now let's talk about some events for tomorrow so these are your events happening all day Tuesday um, around Missoula and all that stuff so there's more camps and of course there's that roots acro camp basically the same thing it's happening from 9 to 3 ages uh, 3 to 12 years old and um, then there's uh, three to four year olds can go from nine to 12 for a half day. Earlier care is nine to five, uh, after care is 335. So it's very, it seems very organized. And then of course, one day is $50, five days is $190. And then uh, two days, oh wait, so yeah, a lot of different um, things for sure. There's a two day $90. So they basically have a whole list. You can check it out, MissoulaEvents.net. They have a whole bunch of camps where you can find things to stuff your kid while you guys are at work making money to pay for these camps. <laughs> um, there's the uh, Little Explorers Tinkering Toy Makers Camp at Spectrum Discovery Center starting in at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And this is uh, $35 per session. And of course, uh, this is going to be going on pretty much throughout the next couple days at Spectrum Discovery Center, which is just off of mm, Front Street. Yeah, that's right, Front Street, right behind the Elks. So that's where it's happening. Of course, there's family fun time at the Y. So if you want to check out the Y, it's uh, $17 for a family without a Y membership. But of course, um, they have all sorts of wonderful things happening there. They have kind of like a, a lounge area where the parents can kind of hang out. They have tricycle tracks. They have a swimming pool. They have a basketball court. They have softy hockey, which basically kind of like you run around in a basketball court and you basically use hockey sticks to hawk a ball in the net or something. I don't know. 
Um, Tiny Tales is happening tomorrow at 10.30, where uh, the unique program is held every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10.30 p.m. Um, aged birth to three years old are invited to attend and must be accompanied by an adult lap. Um, participants will sing songs, learn finger pr- plays, and nursery rhymes, and hear stories. This program is usually held downstairs in a large meeting room. Um, duh, duh, duh. And parent, parental... Um, participation is highly encouraged um also tomorrow at 11 a.m there's a roots acro center there's preschools play group and that's from walking to five years of age eight dollars for drop-in twelve dollars for siblings and you know that they do flips and stuff um foam pits a lot of safe areas for kids to use their bodies in a positive way um there's education tomorrow at 11 a.m at sensory table snow dough and it's wow Okay, so the Children's Museum of Missoula is, um, they're going to play with snow dough in the sensory table. Snow dough is a soft and fluffy, but can be molded into shape. Ooh, sounds interesting. Um, there's breastfeeding support meetings. So if you are breastfeeding right now and you need some support, they have a meeting at the Peaceful Heart. And that's located at 725 West Alder Street, Suite 3, Missoula, Montana, 59802. And of course, breastfeeding over the holidays... Please join a, a League of Missoula on Tuesday, the 22nd, that's tomorrow, from 11 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. The meetings are free and open to any mothers interested in breastfeeding support or information. And then, of course, they meet at Peaceful Heart, um, which is a warehouse mall at 725 West Alder Street. Boom, boom, boom. The next event is happening at noon tomorrow, and it's Shooting the Bull Toastmaster. So if you're interested in improving your public speaking skills, check that out, and it's at Elps Boardroom. And I believe, I don't even know where Elps Boardroom is. It's, um, yeah, just say ALPS Boardroom. If you can figure it out, you can do it. <laughs> I can't. Of course, there's the. Um, of course, they probably have a website, Missoula Toastmasters. You can probably find it there. Um, Mule Tastic Tuesday. So the Mon- um, the Montana Distillery is following in suit with Montgomery Distillery by donating a dollar of each pint of each cocktail. It's a, um, it will be given to a different nonprofit, but cocktails are a little more expensive. So. Um, you can check that out. It's happening at the Montana Distillery, happening tomorrow at noon, pretty much all day. And of course, um, yeah, each it goes to a nonprofit, and you can fe- check out what nonprofits it's going to there or at their website. Um, there's Taste Bud Kitchen is doing a holiday cookie camp some more. So of course, if you're interested, it's forty dollars, forty five dollars per day, and or one hundred sixty dollars per week, and it's starting. Oh, sorry. Today, this afternoon at 1 p.m. And, of course, also tomorrow at 1 p.m. if you missed today. There's a Frenchtown Branch Lego Club. So if you don't like the Lego Club in Missoula because maybe you think it's not for you, you can go to Frenchtown and do their own Lego Club. And that starts from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Frenchtown Branch Library. Woo! There's yoga happening at 4 p.m. for veteran, it's veterans. It's called Yoga Warriors, and it's at the Learning Center at Red, Red Willer. And it's 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 a therapeutic outreach program at the Learning Center um, at Red Willow, and is offering warrior yoga for uh, for free. It's free yoga for veterans, their families, and caregivers. The next one is a government meeting. Ooh, can't wait. Um, there's Northside's West Side Neighborhood Leadership Meetings. So if you're in the North Side and West Side. You can go hang out, and the agenda items include public comment on non-agenda items and announcements. So it's going to be happening at the Burn Street Bistro. And what better place than to do it at a nice little community kind of co-op area? Because that's the Missoula Food Co-op and the Burn Street Bistro. It's all in one thing, and it's a lot of the natural local produce. All right, so the next thing is bluegrass. So bluegrass happens every Tuesday at 6 p.m. at the top at. They're at the raised area right next to the sound booth. And you get to hang out, uh, pick um, guitars, pick banjos, pick your nose for all I care. You pretty much do (laughs) anything uh, as long as it's bluegrass related. You can go whatever. Uh, The next thing is happening also at 6 p.m. So if you don't want to do bluegrass, you maybe be a little shy, maybe you're kind of done it so many times there is a community creative writing workshop so writing is a form of making 
Mm, that's what it says here. Uh, it's open, drop-in environment focusing on creative writing workshops process, and it's happening from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the makerspace at the Missoula Public Library. Um, there's the uh, Captain Wilson's conspiracy plans at the tap room, and that's happening at 6 p.m. at Lolo uh, Peak Brewery. Yep. And Irish, traditional Irish music with the Crashers and friends at Imagination Brewing tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, you have System Check at the Missoula Public Library, so if you're interested in gaming on the Wii, Xbox, and I believe the other one is called a PlayStation by Sony, and they all just kind of hang out and play video games at 6.30 p.m., and it's for ages 19 and under. And, of course, it's not enough because there is a um, 19 and over class for some people happening, and that's happening at the Missoula Public Library, and it's at 6.30 tomorrow. There's African dance at the Missoula Senior Center, so if you're interested in doing African dance, the lady who's been doing African dance has done it for, like, over 20 years, probably even more. I'm not giving her any credit, but you should by checking it out. It's great. It's ten dollars per class. At thirty-five dollars for four classes, and you get a whole nice drumming. And it sounds really great. I mean, they do the free kind of things for first night, so you can check it out first night and be like, "This is really cool." And yeah, it's at the Missoula Senior Center, and it starts at seven p.m. tomorrow. Uh, there's a Met colon live in HD, The Magic Flute, and that's happening at seven p.m. at the Roxy Theater. It's an art film, and it's a groundbreaking broadcast that launched the Mets award-winning live, I don't think it's the baseball team, and it's the HD series to movie theater in 2006. The Magic Flute enchanted opera lover, so it's an opera. Okay, so I'm just learning about this as I'm reading it to you guys. So yeah, it's a nice little opera video. It's live in HD, The Magic Flute, and it's an opera happening at the Roxy at 7 p.m. tomorrow. There is adult TNT, so it's a nice um, Roots Acro Sports Center is hosting an adult TNT um, it's for tumbling and gymnastics. It's great, and it's happened from 7.30 to 8.30. So if you're jealous of all those kids getting all the chance to jump in those foam pits, now you can do it too. And it's from ages 16 and up. Do flips and stuff. It's $8 for, per drop-in. Uh, there's the winter sports. Um, it's open kayak at Currents Aquatic Center. So let's say you like kayaking, but you don't like kayaking during the winter. But here's your option. You get to go into a pool at Kern's Aquatic Center. It's an indoor pool um, where you get to learn some kayak stuff. And I think it's really cool. And it's for ages, um, let's see. The price is uh, $6.25 for adults, $4.50 for seniors 60, and for ages 13 to 17, $4 for ages 7 to 12, $3 for 2 to 6. And you can check all that out at the um, Missoula Parks and Recreation website <coughs> under um, Kern's Aquatic Center. And of course, at your last event happening tomorrow night is there's Missoula uh, Music Showcase, which is a kind of an open mic. That's basically, they used to have a bunch of open mic happening at um, Sean Kelly's. Sean Kelly's closed, and now it's the Thomas Marr Bar making that whole little patio thing, right away thing, which changed the uh, Missoula ordinance. Anyways, they moved to Tuesdays at the Badlander, and of course, there's no cover, and you get to see um, some um, amateur musicians jam out. And it's starting at 9 p.m. tomorrow night at the Badlander. And without further ado, I do have an arts clip, and it ends on the 23rd. So at the Clay Studio, you have a bunch of um, cool featured artists, and I believe it's the holiday sale, and it's going on through the 23rd. So some of the items here will probably be long gone. So check out um, this art clip provided by MCAT's very own Rick Phillips.
You know, for the longest time, I've never actually been to the Clay Studio. Really? Like, yeah, have you ever been to the Clay Studio? No, I can't say that I have. Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting because I was at uh, first night, um, not for no, not first night, first Friday, which happens uh, first Friday of every month, and some guy was like randomly that I met in an alleyway. Trust me, it's uh, it's like an alleyway um, art gallery, which they do kind of like uh, between um, Old Post and. Thomas Marbar. I I, I want to say Sean Kelly's. I'll just say new Sean Kelly's from now on. New Sean Kelly's is Thomas Marbar. I don't care. Whatever. And yeah, I mean, uh, he told me to check it out. Clay Studio is like, is it within walking distance? It's like, no, you have to drive there. He's like, ha, no, I'm gonna. I I'd rather just walk. <laughs> but you know, that's just that's my story, and I'm sticking it to it, or sticking to it, not sticking it to it. That sounds familiar. Phrase sticking to it. <laughs> or sticking it to it. No, I meant our guest that I talked about. She said that on her comedy skit all the oh. time. Oh. Hmm. I think that's called irony. <laughs> and of course, uh, let's let's see some of the stuff that's happening at the um, city council tonight on uh, at the city council. So it's going to be live broadcast on MCAT uh, channel 190, and they're talking about a resolution resolution amending the fiscal year 2015 of Missoula Redevelopment Agency budget to appropriate expenditures and identify revenue and budget transfers that were not identified in the original budget. Ooh, so they're going to do some um, final budgeting stuff. I think this is going to be their last meeting of the year so they're going to be kind of wrapping some things up for sure there's a re resolution amending the fiscal year 2016 budget for the parks department they're talking about that there's the aubrey place apartment subdivision exemption and there's the conditional use request 2000 um 2001 brook street gasoline and fuel sales there's the uh, petition to vacate public right away on the 800 block of Howell Street. So those are the kind of like the general um, public um, hearings that are happening that you can discuss on, make public comment on, but of course everything else is just basically business as usual. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to find out more information you can log on to ci.missoula.mt.us or you can look up City of Missoula on your Google engine. And of course, oh, we won't, I won't be live on Wednesday, so we won't be here um, Wednesday morning at eight, from eight to nine. But we will be running a pre shape show at two p.m. on Wednesday and Christmas Day, the twenty fifth, this Friday. But yeah, I mean, we have a couple. Oh, we have a little bit more time. So, is there anything you want to like, give a plug or mention? Just uh, my book is in sale on three stores now. Great, Garden of Reading, Fact and Fiction, and Hastings. Yeah. That's it. Supermarket pianist. You can go to Amazon.com and order it that way. Okay, cool. All right, thank you, ASAP. Sure. Uh, and you can check out ASAP at the Patrick Market. We'll be playing and hanging out. <laughs> 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 but, of course, um, I want to thank ASAP for joining me. Um, Noelle is visiting her mother in dear old New Mexico. And I just want to hope that she has a very great happy holidays and i hope you guys have a great happy holidays merry christmas happy hanukkah uh yeah i mean there's a lot of uh, great stuff going on today and tomorrow but for wake up missoula i'm scott ramp and here is asif adonai on piano